Are you looking for a way to jazz up your rocket to make it really cool looking so that when people come up to it and they say, wow, that is an awesome rocket. Well, I'm going to give you a couple of tips in this video on how to do that. Um, what I want to tell you about is what I call texture. Um, if you look at this rocket, you see that it's not very smooth. It has all kinds of bumps and protrusions and things that stick out and embossed wraps. Uh, this gives the rocket texture and what it does, it draws your eye to the rocket like a magnet. People just want to look at it and feel it and touch it. And that's how you know you have a good looking rocket. Well, texture can be done with decals, like on this uh, rocket from Quest. This is the uh, heavy future launch vehicle. Um, and it has just wraps that wraps around the rocket, but they're, they're smooth because they're printed. Um, one of the ways you can get real texture is by using vacuform wraps. Now here at Apogee Component, we sell vacuform wraps that have a texture that's been vacuformed into the plastic. Uh, to use these, you just cut them out of the plastic and wrap them around the tube like this. Now what this does is this simulates, um, these are called stringers on a rocket. Uh, it's on, on real rockets, you have, a, when they're liquid propellants, you have a, a tank on the bottom and the tank on the top, uh, but they got curved ends to them. So to join those two pressure vessels together, they create a section uh, with stringers that tie it together, and they, this gives it the strength, and that's what these stringers are for on a real rocket. Um, so we can simulate these with the vacuform wrap, and here I, you can see I just wrap it around the tube, I'm going to take a pencil and mark it where it overlaps. And then I'll just take a, a ruler and my hobby knife. Where'd my hobby knife go? <laughs> there it is. Sorry about that, it went down there. And I'll just Lay it on there and just make a score. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to go all the way through. When you're using uh, styrene plastic, you just have to score it and then you just bend it back and forth and it will snap right off. Um, and then you can just wrap it around the, the rocket and get a piece of tape and we'll tape it in place. Now, the trick on vacuforms is you have to use the right glue. Um, if you use the wrong kind of glue, it's going to melt the plastic and you're going to end up with a big mess. So, let me uh, get this in the right spot where I want it. Uh, now, there's different kinds of glue, and these are all super glues. You have your regular super glue, and I like the super thin variety. Um, but this will melt the plastic because when it kicks off, um, it generates heat and that can melt the plastic. And then also, it can attack the plastic itself. So what I recommend when uh, gluing these is to use the odorless variety. Uh, and it will say odorless on the side of the uh, glue bottle. Now this is a lot more expensive than the regular kind of super glue, but it's well worth it. Um, and if you can't get this, get the kind that says plastic on it. That is meant for plastics. Because that will also work on vacuform wraps. Um, as you can see, I also put a little uh, applicator tube on the tip, and that will allow me just to, to just go around the tube like this, and it's going to wick underneath. And then in a few minutes when it's dry, you can take it apart, and, uh, and it will look great. So I'm just going to hold it down here for just a second on this end, and then you'll do the other end. Now where, the, where it joins together is this, the part that you really need to hold. I usually have a napkin with me to wipe it off, but that's going to set up, and that will, when, it, when it's done, we'll also do that seam, so we'll just pull up the tape, and then run a little bead of glue along the seam where the, the two edges join together. Now, another thing that you can do for texture on a rocket is to add circumference bands. On real rockets, what these do is they, 
the way they form a, a tube is they take a big sheet of metal, roll it together, and then weld it. And then when they have two of these come together, you get this seam here. Now, to make that seam, I just cut off a little bit of tube, and then you can cut it in half, like that, and you can wrap it around the tube like that. Now you'll notice, though, that it's going to have a little gap. Well, what you can do to fill that gap, uh, and we talked about this before, is you can make a tunnel cover. And the tunnel cover can just glue in that gap like that. And then you're hiding the gap, and that looks cool. And people are going to say, wow, that looks awesome. Now, another way to do that without using uh, a part of the tube is to take some uh, paper. And I like these, uh, the self-adhesive labels. Um, you can see here I had some CD labels, but look at all this uh, area on the side that is unused. And I can just cut strips. I'm just eyeballing it right now. And then you just peel, off, peel it off and it's, it's already got its self-adhesive on it. So when you wrap it around the tube, it's going to stick. Now what I would do before laying this down is to draw a line around the tube. And if you go around several times, like I did on this side, you can see that I built up some thickness. Now also, what you want to do is to create these longitudinal stringers. Now these are, when, when they roll the tube and they weld it together, this is be the weld line. And so you add this plus this and a vacuform wrap and you got a lot of texture on your rocket and people are going to say, wow, that's awesome. Now I would do all this after you had uh, primed the tube and sanded it smooth because you want these to stand up. You want it to stand out so that people really notice it. So there is a technique on adding a lot of pizzazz to your rocket. And I hope you'll do this, and uh, please send us some photographs because we would love to see this. Um, and if you like this video, um, just go down there to the bottom and add a comment and say, hey, I like this video. And uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. I'm from Apogee Components. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.